very good morning, friends and family in Jesus. Uh, thank you again this morning for joining us. <clears throat> so before we get into the scripture uh, verse this morning, which is still in Psalms 145, the Lord wants to take us further down there. Beautiful Psalm, open it up a little bit, uh, get some of or a lot of that Psalm into our hearts and, and into our spirits and start uh, pondering on it and thinking about it. Um, like that scripture we spoke about uh, that one Sunday morning, uh, stirring up the wholesome thinking in us. Amen. And so, uh, as I said yesterday, uh, why is Jesus worthy to be praised? Uh, do you have your list with you this morning? I brought my list. As I said, so this was just a quick list uh, that I, I, I made uh, yesterday. Um, didn't have too much time to go further than, than this. But, you know, family, um, we might not have the same things on the list. Just why you think Jesus is worthy to be praised. And a few things that I have on my list, because, because he's God and because he's king, and because he is the savior, because he is the son of God, Jesus is worthy to be praised for for a million different reasons so hopefully you made your list uh, if you didn't there's still time this week you can still do it we're going further in psalms 145 this morning where we ended off yesterday in verse 7 we're carrying on in verse 8 this morning and uh, i i'm excited because the lord wants this morning to continue our list that we started yesterday. So uh, verse 8, 145 verse 8 says, The Lord is gracious and compassionate. There's another reason that is worthy to be praised. You can put that on your list. Slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. Listen what David says here, family. He, he puts the word all. The Lord is good to those who believe in him and those who don't. He is gracious to them. He's giving them time to repent and to change their lives. So the Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. Verse 10 says, All your works praise you. So all the works of the Lord praise him. All your works praise you, Lord. Your faithful people Praise you with enthusiasm. They extol you. Verse 11 says, They tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Yes, that's a beautiful sentence That When we get together as family and friends, do we speak of the glory of God's kingdom? Do we speak of the might of the Lord? What he has achieved in our lives? Verse 11 goes on and says, so that all people may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Wow, family, listen how beautiful David describes our Lord and our Savior here. Verse 13 is what the Lord wants us to concentrate on this morning uh, and going further in this week. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And your dominion endures through all generations. I think we can all say amen to that. Here's the thing the Lord wants us to pick up our, our lists again for. It finishes off in verse 13 and it says, The Lord is trustworthy in all he promises and faithful in all he does. Family, that's a, that's a big hallelujah, amen, that. The Lord is trustworthy in all he promises. Now, we take our list that we made on Monday on why Jesus is worthy to be praised. We page over and we make a new list this morning, Tuesday, and we say, we put down on this list all the promises that Jesus has made to you. All the promises that Jesus has made to me. All the promises that we can 
Remember Jesus speaking about in the word. Family, the more we meditate on why Jesus is trustworthy. And then we meditate on all the promises that Jesus has given us. The more we do that in this week, the more this week will start to stand up and become absolutely amazing and absolutely godly. So family, this is your challenge for this morning. As my challenge, take your list again. Put it down somewhere where you walk by the whole day, where you can't miss it. And every time the Spirit of Jesus Christ reminds you and reminds me of a promise that Jesus made to us, take your pen or your pencil and write down that promise. It can be anything. The Lord promising you, if you are still single, that you'll one day get a godly husband or a godly wife. The Lord promising you that your business will grow. The Lord promising you that a family member will come to salvation. The Lord promising you that the spiritual gift that you have been praying for and trusting Him for, that you'll receive it when He thinks it fit for you to receive it. Amen. So all those promises, the promise that Jesus is going to return one day. I love that promise. The promise that Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father right now, preparing a place for you and me, that when he comes to fetch us as his bride, that we will be able to spend eternity with him. Family, there's thousands of promises. So if I were you, I'd start writing. If you have work to get to, um, or shopping to go and do, quickly jot down some of those promises. Maybe take the list with you in the car if you're traveling today. Don't write while you're traveling. Um, pull over onto the side of the road. But family, let's start um, meditating on, on it and re being reminded of it and calling it. The more we write the promises down, the more we'll remember it, the more we start calling it. Thank you, Lord Jesus that you promised me um, whatever two years ago. I, I haven't forgotten about it, and I know you haven't forgotten about it, because you, Lord Jesus, um, you, you are not a man that you will lie. And everything that you speak out into being will never return to you void. It will always return to you having fulfilled what you set it out to do. Family, hopefully, you have written your first list today. Why is Jesus worthy to be praised? And now just turn the page and let's carry on with this next list. Let's see maybe tomorrow the Lord allows us to carry on with a new list. Um, and so we get to the end of this week and we've written a whole book, family. A whole book on the goodness and the glory and the promises and the splendor of our Lord and our Savior Jesus. This is an exciting week for me. I love this. I love lifting Jesus um, up, up high. I love placing him um, on, on the throne where he belongs. Sometimes, family, our lives are, are, are run in such a way that we take Christ off of the throne and we put other things there. And so in this week, I've made it a point, for myself at least, to put Christ back on that throne where he is and put myself at his feet where I should be. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, your son, we thank you, Lord, that you have allowed us yesterday through the, the, the uh, gifts and the power of the Holy Spirit to be able to sit down and make a list of why my Lord and my Savior Jesus is worthy to be praised. Why? If I have to stand up in church and I have to tell everyone, why you, Lord Jesus, why are you worthy to be praised? I now have a, a list that's ready, Lord. I can read it out to everyone. And so today, Lord Jesus, I thank you that I can now start with a brand new list, a list reminding me of all the promises that you have given me, all the promises that you have given us as the body of Christ. 
So I'm excited, Lord Jesus, and, and I thank you for this, Lord. This is, this, this is who you are, reminding us of who you are so that we realize that we are serving not a man or an organization or an institution. We are serving the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one and only living God, the creator of heaven and earth. So we thank you for that, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Please, Holy Spirit, continue to guide, lead, and teach us today so that we can extend our list of Monday and start a new list for today, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus, and we pray and we ask all of this in your name. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, friends and family. Um, yes, so start writing. Start writing. Um, Hopefully yesterday you, uh, you emptied the, uh, the ink of the pen that you were busy with. And so today you have to buy a new pen to start the new list. Wow, family, won't that be an amazing testimony on Sunday? Um, so, brother and sister in Jesus, um, sit down, close your eyes, be still, know that he's God. Listen to the Holy Spirit. See what your heart puts down on um, to the paper today and again tomorrow I want to invite you bring your list with tomorrow so we can give glory to to God that we can make a list it's so easy that we can make a list of the wrongs in life and and the things that are are, are bad in life and and things that are falling apart in life but here this morning family we can at least stand and we can say Lord I have a list to say why you are worthy to be praised. And tomorrow, I will have a list to say the promises that you have given me. So family, I, I, I hope and I pray and I trust that you will have a blessed day today in Jesus' name. Till we meet again tomorrow, be blessed and amen.